Summer vacation is supposed to be a time for fun, but for one Bemidji teenager, his included learning a life lesson from a near-death experience. Each day as he goes through hours of rehab, one question is on his mind. Who was the stranger that helped save his life? Matt Henson has more, and we should warn you, some viewers may find some of the images you're about to see graphic. An August workout is usually part of 14-year-old Gabe Schwarzlander's routine, with football season just around the corner. Have we done that yet? But this summer, he isn't getting ready to hit the gridiron at Bemidji High School. Gabe just wants to be a normal kid again. I will probably won't be fully recovered, they said, a year to 18 months. Back in June, Gabe and several friends were riding on an ATV Ranger along County 23 near Leonard when an afternoon of fun nearly turned tragic. As the boys rode over some bumps, gas from unplugged cans in the box of the ATV started splashing everywhere. I just splashed a gas can up and it splashed the gas all over my back. And then a couple seconds later, just big flame came rushing in. The fireball so intense, it melted this highway sign. Meanwhile, Gabe's clothes caught fire. I just remember jumping out and the flames not going out. The stop, drop, and roll method didn't work right away in this case because as Gabe rolled around, it continued to spread gas all over his body. So you're just in like panic mode and stuff and just rolling around and flopping everywhere. So I was in shock. I couldn't believe that this was happening. Gabe's burns were so severe, he was flown to a Minneapolis burn unit where he would stay for the next month with burns to 37% of his body. I fell to the floor and screamed. It's like nothing that you ever want to see your child or anyone you love care about. And there is still a mystery that hangs over the accident site. Who was the woman who stopped and helped the boys until rescue crews arrived? We were just walking back and forth and this lady stopped with her car and she just kept walking with us. We call her Angel and not everybody would have stopped given the condition that Gabe was in. Exhale through your mouth. While Gabe's friends are getting ready to go back to school, he spends several hours a day, four days a week, in rehab. One of the big things that we're doing to help manage those scars is to stretch that new tissue as it grows um, to help make sure it grows in and smooths out so that it doesn't restrict his motion, his range of motion. Going further? Gabe says it's been right. tough not being able to hang out with friends, hit the lake, or get ready for football but admits he learned a lesson that can't always be taught in school. It was a big event in my life, and I'm pretty young, so, I mean, it probably will make me a stronger, better person and realize how important it is to be safe and stuff, so. Several of the boys who were passengers on the ATV sustained minor burns and were treated locally. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.